Who let the monkeys out of it? Oh. Alrighty, welcome back. Here we go. This is like day three or four. I've had two good solid days and probably a couple other, uh, you know, just an hour or two here and there messing around, carrying it, flipping it, trying to get used to it, see what's up with it. So here's the deal. Um... It's a little, a little blocky, a little granola bar in hand. Um, oddly enough, this texturing, this honeycomb pattern helps with that. <laughs> uh, gives your hand a little bit of space to expand around in it and uh, actually makes it feel a little bit better than I think it would otherwise anyway. Um, unique as far as its construction and just sort of design. But overall, it is a very neutral sort of handle that actually fits my hand fairly well. The only thing I don't like is the pocket clip. Pocket clip rides right up this ridge, a chub in my hand right here. So uh, when it sits like I would normally hold it, it is right in that chub. So uh, up here, when I'm holding it like I'd be if I were opening boxes or breaking down uh, plastic wrap off a pallet, something like that, uh, I would probably pinch up here. So be be fine there. Not a problem there, but most pocket clips aren't in that grip. Those are really about the only two grips I hold a folding knife in, uh, at least of this size and kind of general shape. So. Uh, if it had a forward choil, we could talk about another grip or two, but the way this one is designed, that is pretty much it. So you can see oversized sort of honeycomb. In fact, I tell you, almost the same size and outline <laughs> as my damn designs pivot. But uh, yeah, carbon fiber on this side, titanium on this side, titanium hardware, hardened steel pivot, of course, stainless steel blade, titanium clip, titanium hardware all around, titanium backspacer. So that is really the construction of it, the fit and finish. Yeah, you got about a 30, maybe 40% lockup somewhere in there. It is not drop shutty. It is barely shake shutty. Um, this one could really use a lot more breaking in before I gave you this review, but that's not how a pass around group works. So let me tell you, very lightweight for what you're getting. This is, I believe, just under four ounces. I'll have all your specs right up here. So you have a fairly lightweight knife that is M390 blade steel and um, it's a thick stock, but it has this deep hollow grind. When you get down about maybe a quarter of an inch behind the edge, uh, your brain is telling you you should be able to feel your finger they're so close. That edge is wicked sharp. I think the specs say it's something like 14 or 15 thousandths so um that's what you're getting here you're getting a super slicey blade i did not go and bust down a bunch of cardboard with this like i said this is a pass around knife that is not something we can do with this but i think you would find this easy and very capable of doing jobs like that um this thing, like I said, if you could uh, be exquisite for taking down pallets, uh, cutting open bags, stuff that I would normally use a knife, especially a primary size folder like this for, I think it would excel at that. So, um, can you hear this? This kind of tells you how thin it is. It's just me barely running my fingers across the, t the edge of that. So, uh, let's give you an idea of size here. I'll get, like I said, I'll give you some specs up there. Pull you over here. 
and then we'll give you some quick comparisons and get you out of here. Try not to make these too long on you. So overall, we are looking at just over eight inches, like maybe eight and an eighth inch or so. You are looking at about three and a quarter inch of blade, maybe three and three eighths, somewhere in there, uh, of blade, and all of that is cutting edge. So you have an in pocket length of about five inches and grippable area of just over four inches let's call it four and an eighth so that gives you the basic dimensions of it like i said very lightweight the specs will give you the weights the blade um but it's 0.14 on the blade thickness on the stock thickness back here but it's 14 thousandths behind the edge man anyway uh, let's give you some comparisons. I already kind of know uh, closed. And one more. And then we're going to open them up and start showing you as far as blade length. How they compare. And we'll just keep these out there and do the exact same thing. Oh, fail. So... Uh, you should know the War Spear is kind of the first knife that starts to take us off into the theater of the absurd. Um, you can see this thing is running in that class, though. In between the War Spear and pretty much identical to the Vendigo, to your Hive V3. Bring that budget knife back out. BK40. Let's get it tip to tip. BK40 is actually a little bit bigger when you open them up. And as is the Shaman. But both still very comparable. All the way across the board. These are all fairly comparable overall. And last, the Orion Solaris, ever so slightly shorter in the handle. Maybe a quarter inch total. And get you out of here. I'll give you one more comparison so you know what that's going to be. Do you? Do you? Do you? Huh? Do you? What it would look like in an EDC rotation for me. With. Kaiser Original Gunmetal and the LT Wright Lil Muck in D2. Thank you again to Danny over at D's Knives for the Lil Muck. Thank you, brother. It uh, It's seen a little bit of action. I am hoping to get it out soon for a full review. But that is what it looked like as part of the rotation. And let me tell you. If this was the first Tuya knife instead of that uh, Big Belly that we saw a while back, what would I think of Tuya knives? Uh, a very well made knife, not exactly my flair, but a very good knife. And I am really curious how, how slicey and how this thing would just go through cardboard. Or does it get so thick up here at the top of this hollow grind that it would maybe impede that? very curious indeed so um, that would be my main question I would want to use it a little bit but it feels very quality it feels very space age light and uh, slicey and just um, really well made so um, I would be impressed overall the tiniest bit maybe of pivot slop um, but not enough to make noise so, um, if this were the first two I came across, I would be impressed. I would think uh, they're using very quality, very advanced materials, um, and doing a good job with the construction on them. What is that? Let's 
say don't but make me bust out the KPL blade stuff anyway um <laughs> This is uh, another very well-made knife by Tuya. Um, it's not an inexpensive knife. It's still coming in in that over $200 range. M390 steel carbon fiber titanium. I mean, you're talking about, you know, upper tier materials. So, would I recommend this to you? Um, yeah, I mean, if this speaks to you, if you like hollow grinds, if you want a light knife that still gives you plenty of knife to do actual work with, um, this should be a contender, I think. Is it necessarily the best bang for the buck in that price category and these material options? Um, I don't know. It's hard for me to say since I can't take it out. I'm really curious about how that edge would hold up, how that hollow grind, that deep hollow grind would would work, and uh, especially over a long period of time doing longer cuts through cardboard and stuff like that. So I would say it would be worth a look. How about that? Um, a little wishy-washy, I know, but uh, without being able to go out and bust this a little bit harder uh i really don't feel good just saying yeah you should definitely go grab one not how i work so um it is impressive to hold i would definitely recommend you get your hands on one if this speaks anything to you anything to you at all definitely try and get your hands on one um i am really just impressed by how light it feels in hand feels very nice in pocket it is not the easiest pocket clip to get in and out of your pocket it could use a little bit more milling under this front edge um, get a little bit further up in the air but overall far from the worst pocket clip I have ever seen and that's really about it um, if you have any questions if I miss something let me know down there um, I'll do my best to get the answer for you. Otherwise, until I see you again, and I do hope I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good. That's not it. I wanted to show you for a final size comparison. Put it up against the uh, unmistakable Duke Duke. So that's all I've got for you. I mean... You know, it's swinging in this class now. So, so until I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good. That's it. This is Grumpy, and I'm out.